After this review, there is only one more movie left to review this year. And they are both superhero movies. It would have been two left to do, as I was going to do a review on Avengers Infinity War. But since I've already did that discussion video, I decided not to do it. So we've only got this movie and the final movie. Uh, I should have had this out a while ago. But, better late than never. So, let's see if this movie lives up to its predecessor, or it's just a failed sequel. This is my review on Deadpool 2. The first Deadpool movie back in 2016 is a fantastic movie. I knew about the character beforehand, but not too much on him, as I thought it was a parody on Spider-Man since I originally thought the masks looked similar. Though seeing him in action and getting his own movie helped out a lot. Better than another character that did the same thing but failed miserably. So this year, after the release of Avengers Infinity War, fans of Deadpool were treated to the release of Deadpool 2. Where the first movie was the origin and, as Deadpool calls it, a love story. This time, the filmmakers call this... A family film, yet yeah, it's rated 15 in the UK and R in the US. So what's the story? It starts out seeing Deadpool killing a lot of people and runs back home thanks to Dopinda and both Wade and Vanessa for their anniversary. They think about becoming parents and then a group of men break in and come to kill Wade, but kills Vanessa instead. Many suicidal attempts later, we meet Cable played by Josh Brolin after seeing the death of his wife and daughter. He travels back in time to the present day to find the killer when he was young, to kill him. We also see Colossus find Deadpool and bring him to the X-Mansion. And we see Wade messing about there and joins Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead on a mission to tame a boy with fire powers named Russell, played by Julian Dennison. Wade goes too far by killing some people, and both him and Russell get sent to a secret place with collars on their necks to keep them from using their powers. Cable comes in and goes after Russell, so Wade tries to stop him and manages to get him out. Wade then heads back home and performs a group, a super duper fucking group, which he then calls the X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. And so Deadpool, along with the X-Force, has to try and stop Cable and save Russell while also cracking some jokes as Deadpool would. The first movie was good as an origin story, and I love the second movie continues the story and brings a new aspect to newer fans of Deadpool, such as myself. I found all of the action sequences so cool, and all the jokes really funny. I was laughing more at this movie than the first one, and that movie is really funny. This is a movie that's even better than his first one. Each character in the movie is enjoyable in their own ways. Deadpool going through the loss of Vanessa and even being with Russell helps him with his dream of having a kid. And of course, he's always cracking jokes. I love him in this movie. He's always funny. Other characters like Russell and even Wade's friends like Dopenda, Weasel, and Blind Al are pretty cool and funny to watch as they were in the first movie. Even Dopinda gets something interesting where he wants to prove himself as a killer or something like that. Pretty funny. Russell is pretty funny. Citing to some movies, kind of like what Tom Holland's Spider-Man does in the MCU, the kind of stuff he does, and even got to team up with the Juggernaut of all people, and his superhero name, Fire Fist. That's so cheesy, but I love it. Then there's Colossus and Negasonic. They're pretty much like how they were in the first movie. Colossus, friendly and wants to help Wade to be a better person and maybe an X-Men. Nega just wants to take the piss out of Wade's choices in life. Oh yeah, she's a lesbian now thanks to this new chick. She's funny too. And pretty cute. There's all the other characters in the X-Force, but the only one that really matters is Domino since she makes more screen time compared to the other ones since they don't last very long in this movie. But I will say each one is pretty funny. And then there's Cable. He's badass. He's cool. He's so dark. You sure you're not from the DC universe? Yeah, that really. Josh Brolin said he hated his performance, but I liked it. I mean, it's no Vanos, but 
he did a good job in this one. The CGI in this movie too, for things like action sequences and all the characters that require it. I said the better ones to look at is when it's used on Deadpool, Cable, Colossus, other characters, they look pretty decently with it. But the Juggernaut seems a bit off-putting to me. Kinda like Peter Dinklage in Avengers Infinity War was really off-putting to me, especially when he walks. The music is all so cool, it's dramatic, it's sad, it's action-packed, and there's even some funny tracks along with some dubstep, and I love it a lot. I'd say it's better stuff than the music in the first movie, as there's more variety. Overall, Deadpool 2 is a great sequel. As I said before, this movie is better than the first movie. It did so much right to be a better movie to the first, and it's a whole lot of funny. I'd highly recommend this movie to fans of Deadpool and Marvel, only if you're over the age of 15. Ah oh man, that was a great movie. But we're not done yet. Introducing Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut. The Super Duper Cut is the movie's extended cut released on Blu-ray. I've not heard anyone's thoughts on the cut, but I can say for myself, I really enjoyed it. It doesn't add much to the movie, but I will say the stuff that was added is pretty funny and I like it. I'd say you can give this card like a little check out. It's enjoyable, but if you don't like it, at least it comes with the regular cut. Now there's only one more piece of Deadpool 2 to talk about, which is Once Upon a Deadpool. And I haven't seen it, but my friend Michael has, so go for it, Michael. So yeah, Once Upon a Deadpool is the PG-13 cut of Deadpool 2, and Deadpool 2 is one of my favorite comic book movies. It's up there with Into the Spider-Verse and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I just think it's Deadpool 1 and more. So with Once Upon a Deadpool, I was very hesitant going in, and what I got was kind of what I expected. It's basically just a watered-down version of Deadpool 2. There are scenes where they want to say the f-word, but they literally just dub it over with f and it doesn't flow at all. There's a lot of awkward cutting. There are times where there's gunshots and there's no blood, which is to be expected, but when you have it done in such a violent manner as Deadpool 2 did it in, it's very jarring. Like, you can tell that there are cuts. And I feel the big selling point was the stuff with Fred Savage. But even that, it's only like 15 minutes of the movie, and those 15 minutes are really funny, but there's not enough of it. Every time it cut back to Fred Savage stuff, I got really excited because I was like, here's some new stuff, okay, here we go. And it just kind of ends each time. Now, I don't regret seeing this movie because I love Deadpool 2. Even the super cut, which I didn't love, I still like because I like Deadpool 2 as a whole. But if you're going in expecting a lot of stuff with Deadpool and Fred Savage, you're not going to get a lot of that. If you really want to see it, just wait a month or two and I bet it'll all be on YouTube, like a 15 minute compilation. This should have been more like a little DVD release, not a full in theater release. And I respect that they had like a dollar of every ticket sold was donated to Ryan Reynolds Cancer Foundation, but I felt like this was a very unneeded thing. But um, hey Billy, you know, you know what we need? We need Venom 2! Okay, we don't need to hear that. Anyway, so, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all in the final review, which will be Aquaman. So until then, take care. Hey, thanks for watching the review. So here's the rest of what Michael was saying in that recording. Enjoy it, and have a very Merry Christmas. But, um, hey, Billy, you know, you know what we need? We need Venom 2! Venom, 20 Venom movies! We just need thousands of Venom movies! Those are the greatest! Give me 20 Venom movies! Every Venom movie is better than any movie I've ever seen! Come on, let's get a Venom cinematic universe of only Venom! 10 out of 10 movie, greatest movie of the last century! Citizen Kane of Citizen Kane's! I disagree with everything you said!